Hey guys, Terrence here. Today I'll be installing a trailer wiring kit on my 2008 Chevy Express van and a tow hitch. Uh, I'm pretty sure the tow hitch can be installed on vans as far as back to 1996 when they first started this body style, upward to probably 2019. However, I'm not sure about the trailer wiring kit, so let's get started. Here's the trailer wiring kit we're gonna install. I'll put the description in the link box to where you can purchase this kit. Got it for a fairly good price, a pretty good price. Uh, and the hitch is on the FedEx truck right now. It should be here uh, within the next few hours. I'll also show you guys um, where I bought that for, from and how much I paid for it. It'll be in the description box as well. So you guys can get a great deal on that. So we're gonna install this now and wait for the hitch to arrive and we're gonna pop that on. Okay, the first thing we're gonna need to do is remove these, at least get these panels removed. I'm gonna pull it back because they connect. For shipping this area. Okay, guys, due to these panels, to take off nearly the whole wall. If I wanted to get to this, but I pried it back a little bit, got me something between there. And this is the plug I need for this side, and I'll do the other side that way. I'm not going to mess up anything. Okay, here go my plugs. Got them unplugged. So, there's two sides. This is the driver's side, that's the passenger side, the green and black wire. That locks in the top part, the bottom part with the blue plug. It, it mimics this plug. So the bottom half goes, this half goes into here, like so. So this actual plug is just mimicking the other plug. It's just tapping into it to make the trailer hitch plug work. So, run this on the passenger side but I'll hook my ground up here right now. I use this screw. I won't put this screw back in. I'll use it and tap into that and I'll show you guys right now. Okay I ran my green wire over get my ground mounted. I left the other hole. I made a new hole. I left the other hole so I can put that back just for aesthetics. Bring that down now my green and black wire just up here for right now I'll use some white ties on it bring it over there here so this is where I'm at right now Take my plug. we'll make this connection it's the same way this blue plug is mimicking the top plug right there and I'll make these connections really quick. Okay, we're connected. So I don't have to take this whole panel off. Okay, let me wrap everything back up. I'll leave the plug to the side for right now. And I'll show you guys when I'm done. Okay guys, we're back installed. Wires ran there. And now it's time for the hitch. There's a plug around here for right now. Hitch installed. Go from there. It's like 11 degrees outside today, too, so it's freezing. As you see my smoke coming from my truck, coming from a van, because it's so cold out here and it's been running for a while. To show you guys how cold it is out here, it's ice. It's freezing out today. Okay, guys. Uh, just got my, uh, dug my trailer lights out. I 
about these case of emergency and all that on this side. Cause I, when the uh, weather gets bad here, I, I mean I have a lot of problem with my plugs. You know, I kind of cover my plugs on my trailers. On all my trailers, my tow dolly, everything. I kind of be having issues with the plug at times. So I bought these case of emergency. They're, ma they're magnetic and a lot of cord to work with. So they work on any one of my trailers. But now that I got them, I can test the lights. I can test um, my lights that I put to one of my trailers. So let's see. It's like a bright so. Face the front way. Let's turn the signal on. I won't be able to see the brakes. That's up with, with my man. That's the left signal. Right signal. It's the brakes. Yeah. We're good. I'll put the link in the description box, guys, for those lights. And we don't cost much. Just think anybody who trails or tows a car or tows a truck or a dolly or a trailer should keep these should have a set of these just in case of emergency I guess we got plenty of cord to go some distance but that's it uh, if you like this video if you found it helpful please subscribe to the channel share it hit the notification bell uh, stay tuned to the channel we're moving when this move when the moving process and I'll be uploading tons and tons of video. I'm actually going to start showing some of the stuff we're moving as we move out of my warehouse. So stay tuned. Terrence, I'm out.